off, I was stalling for time because I knew the video was about to end. And now we're about to go pretty much run past this giant monster that would kill us otherwise. So I don't know if you've noticed, but at this point the only equipment that you start off with is your armor, a broken sword, and no shield. And right there is a big giant boss demon, and we're just gonna walk past him and go right here. And you just completely ignore him. Hooray, we didn't die! Because if you try and fight him, this broken sword hilt will do absolutely no damage to him, and you can't block because you don't have your shield yet. Running past him, you can run right here, and here is your shield. You want to run into this room when you grab it because there is an archer up there. But you go, equip your shield, which I do start off with a really, really garbage first shield. Just saying. Uh, but as you get closer to him, he just runs away, and right here is your weapon. And they're the weapons that are displayed with your character when you start up the game. So, just go ahead, and I equip my hand axe, and... Now we can kill this guy. Now, my tactic of killing everything in this game is to get behind it and backstab it. That is the absolute... Uh, the cutscene kind of screwed up there a little bit. But that is the absolute number one way to kill things. It does critical hit damage, which is basically double your weapon damage, and... Along with that, it also let me think. It also gives you the uh, ability to be invincible for a short period of time. It has, it has a short invincibility. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is you're going to run right down here, and this is that door that I mentioned in the last video that opened from the other side, and here's our bunker. Uh, you could, if this game made any sense, just walk back up through this door to where that boss was at and fight him again. But, of course, it says it's locked by some contraption. So, what we have to do is go through and actually pick up another piece of equipment that I get because I am a pyromancer, and priests and sorcerers will get this also, just not... They'll get it in the same spot anyway. But dodge right here. There's a big boulder that will try and kill you, or at least hit you for a lot more damage than necessary. And you find... And you find this guy here bleeding, apparently green, or I'm pretty sure that's actually just a shadow. And, uh, you talk to him to get some of your more first items. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Sure. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. Why not? There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Yep, the Estus flask is actually your health item you use to reach various levels of the game. As well. Oh, and this. And this is the Undead Asylum, Floor 2, East Key, which now is. I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Which, that is a key to right up those stairs where the boulder, which is where we're supposed to go next. Uh, and that is debatably the guy that threw you the key from your cell. I don't really know for sure whether it is or not, but yeah. And in just a second, you're going to hear a little stabbing noise. He will die, and we will get his souls. There it is. Next come his souls. Where are they at? Nah, that's just the noise when things die in this game for some reason. for sure he doesn't disappear and die until after you walk past him but see that one that one made a stabbing noise when I killed him too but yeah see now he's just gone yeah it just that's the death noise in this game it always has been ever since demon souls I don't really know but you can always tell when something dies by that noise 
That little shiny orb right there is my pyromancy flame. Equip that because I do love my pyromancy. Over here, and there's a couple of guys waiting to lynch you. Come on, buddy. back in here. There's no real reason to go back here yet, and he is a little bit stronger, because for one, he has a shield and all that. If you can bait out an attack from him, get behind him, and there's another backstab. I don't know if this won't kill him. Nope. Got him with him. Come on, buddy. A lot of times, they'll wait for you to make the first move, and then they're really easy to kill. Uh, but through here, there is actually a very important item that we're going to come back for before we go to Blight Town. Uh, but you can't get through there until you've already beaten it. Now, come through here and boss battle. There is the Asylum Deep. Oh, and I apparently failed at doing my plunging attack. Now, once you know uh, his attack patterns, he's really easy to fight. I know his attack patterns because I've actually fought three or four of these demons. And I don't just mean the tutorial one. There's, you fight a couple of these throughout the game, just some of them end up different. I personally prefer to use my pyromancy. Try and back up and take a little swig of my Estus flask. You gotta, you gotta try pretty hard to get a drink this game because if you're trying to heal and you get hit, which is absolutely all the time, it obviously stops it and could mean the death of you. Well, we have two minutes left in this video, which is actually rather convenient since we just beat him and got a humanity and a key. I'm going to use this uh, flame right here. There we go. We got 2,000 souls from him which at this early part in the game is actually great. Later in the game, that wouldn't be enough to even, you know, look at. Which is depressing. I've been playing through New Game Plus lately, which actually is really easy, because you already have everything you need to go through it. So, all you, can re all you really need to do is run straight to the bosses, and you can fight them just as well. They're stronger, but obviously if you've beat them once, you know most of their attack patterns and can fight them. Which is really the same thing as what I'm doing. But uh, if you come right over here, since I have very little time, you will find Snuggly. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. And Snuggly, you don't actually see him, but his nest is right here, and I don't, I'll see if I have anything I can drop for him right now. But what you do is you drop items in for trade with Snuggly, and he will give you other things back in return. Usually better things, depending on it. There's like entire charts you can find online. I'll probably end up coming to him and giving him some stuff later just for some quick items. Uh, like on my return trip here, I know I like using him. But uh, he's not really necessary for anything. Once you go right up there, there's a cutscene that leads you to Firelight or f something like that. It's the main area of the game. You go there over and over throughout the game. It's a very, very important place. But I'm just, again, stalling for time till the end of the video so that I can start up the next one and you guys not really miss anything. So there's 30 seconds left. I'll just uh, spit here. I'll, I'll twirl. Twirl a little bit here. Twirling. Twirling. Alright. But uh, Snuggly the Crow can be very, very, very useful in the game, give you a few items that are very expensive. Yes, his name is Snuggly the Crow. Which you don't actually ever see him. I'm pretty sure you can find him in Demon Souls. 
But anyway, the time has run up for this video, so I will be stopping it here and returning it in just a moment. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you're enjoying these videos, and uh, I'm sorry I have to keep ending the videos with wasting time. I just don't want you to miss anything important.